Uh, hello everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, along with... He is a mighty Drakir who is wearing the wrong helmets. <laughs> Give me a second to fix that. Yeah, for... So, I'm, poof I'm not... and poof. Uh, but... Hello. <laughs> uh, Hello. Uh, okay, what happened? All I did was deactivate the old one and activate this one. So, why? Why is that so... But, Okay, let me just... Uh, uh, let's see... This was correct last time. So, not sure why it is like this now. Uh, let me... Uh, let me see. Properties... 1141... 42... 7... Did I just mess up the image somehow or something? Oh wait, I think I get it. The last time we did this, I had copied, I, <clears throat> I'd, uh, I'd used a version, a copy of the image that had just been copy pasted uh, from Paint, and this one is it, is it as an actual file. So, but I don't know why it's acting like this for that. Um, let me see. Should be able to just. Correct this over here by just putting in the code again. Actually, if I just change this to image.png, since it was, well, just an image, not a saved file. Okay, that's completely deleted it. Okay. Oh, dear gods. Hmm. Okay then. Sorry about this. I'll just add a few minutes to the stream after this. Uh, but yeah, welcome back to Doom Eternal. Uh, there. Doom Kier. There we go. Still not sure why the hell it's just Hello. not short like that. It shouldn't be. It, uh, it is coming see. cute. Let me just look up the image again in the DMs. Yeah, there we go. Open in browser. And copy over. There. And yeah, it, on here it's the full size image. For some reason here, this half of it is missing. So I don't know what the heck is going on with that. Yeah. I, actually, let me. Oh, I I think I know what's going on. Is we've had this happen before. I uh, copy image, then yeah, it's it's the size of the picture that is confusing things. So if I just put it in here, what is the size of this? Okay, yeah, it's the the height is off. The height is off. So let me just properties. I should have. Yeah, I should have shaved this closer and corrected this before, but oh well. But nobody's ever been able to say that I'm actually competent with all of this. So, <laughs> transform. Then we just pull that up a bunch. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and now that that is done... Rarb! <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's finally get in. That is that took like four minutes, so I'll add four minutes to the clock. One, two, three, four. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, like I said, welcome back to Doom Eternal. One last thing for Drakir's sake. There we go. Thank you. Now there's no red lines all over the place for him. And <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, last time we got rid of the Super Gore Nest, and what else? Yeah, we, we're we going to be knocking on uh, Samuel Hayden's door and asking if he returns our property to us. The crucible he fucking yoinked off of us last time. <laughs> okay, maybe we'll get a bit of an answer as to what the hell happened in the in-between time, because in-universe it's been like 12 years since the... Uh, since shit started on Mars. Warning. All our personnel, the mortal challenge have entered the compound. Evacuation is advised. Yep, yep. 
go, go, hello. I'll take that. I do not. Oh, yes. Have you? There we go. Finally, we get a, to use one of the upgrades <laughs> instead of just forgetting about it. Okay, and but literally four shots left in this thing. Okay, hello there. No bonk this time, but maybe on this one. If you don't bonk with the chainsaw. <laughs> okay. That's... This is Dr. Elena Richardson. Log entry 007. March 3rd, 2163. And with him lies our salvation. For as he gains in strength, so do they fall in numbers. The priests command the armies to the north and south, but he controls the fight. The inner circle of death is where he resides, hunting them at the far reaches of the earth and beyond. I am a believer now. I feel it is in doom that I have faith. The Slayer is the spear that stabs at the heart of our attackers, and those that would seek to harm us should feel warned. For there is only one dominant life form in this universe, and it carries a steel-barreled sword of vengeance. All hail the coming of the Destroyer. The Slayer's time. Yep. Okay, what just... Okay, so it was not the task manager that would occasionally just alt-tab my game for some reason. Is now. Because for some reason it, it jumped to chatty. Hmm. All right. It, it, at least it paused her stage for us. Yeah. Still no clue as to the, the heck is causing that. But it, at least we know it's not the task manager. Let's see. Lockdown is active. Yeah. I think I recall it, many. Uh, if YouTube is like multiplayer, yet that guy had sometimes had that problem. It seems to be. At least back then, already back then, unknown. Dr. Hayden's office laboratory is located at the top of this facility. Attention, emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. Just gonna grab some ice cream. Oh, Jean. Oh, it's a cutscene. Wait, wait, then. Um, uh, my God. Um, uh, doc Dr. Hayden was uh, convinced. Uh, come here for this eventually. Okay, at least they're smart enough not to get in the way. Uh, can I just say that it is an honor for me personally to meet you? I. Oh. No time, no cares, no fucks. <laughs> Attention, emergency protocols have been activated. Please exit the facility now. Oh, there you are. How's it hanging, Hayden? We, uh, we don't know how to access his main cortex. It's all alien. We couldn't figure it out. We have to, uh, prepare for his careful extraction. We were given specific orders. His life signal is barely readable. Warning. Demonic presence threat level 5 entering main laboratory. Mm -hmm. Hello there. Wait a second. That's Sentinel armor, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you know what this is. Opening the portal now. You were never one of us. You were nothing but a usurper. A false idol. My eyes have been open. Let me help you to see, Slayer. 
Marauder. Uh, the Marauder is a defensive powerhouse. Stand too close and he uses his shotgun. Stand too far away and he throws projectiles. Keep him at mid-range. Counter his attack when his eyes flash green to daze him. Otherwise, he blocks your shots. Okay. Okay, so, yeah, when he does that, this is when we strike. Okay. This must be one of the Night Sentinels that was sent with him to hell. Yeah, and some of them became demons. As you can see. And, yeah, these guys are mini bosses onto themselves. Yeah, because you have to be rather specific with them. Get out of my way. I do like the exaggerated stunt animation. Nope. Nope, well, but yeah. Too late. <laughs> Let's see. Green flash indicates when they are vulnerable, cannot block, cannot be block when dazed, so strike. Okay, don't waste an animation trying to break through the shield when it's active. Okay, a civil war consumed Argentinor, the Night Sentinel's guards was quartered, uh, <clears throat> was quartered by their fate, torn between serving the con maker or revolting against that which they swore to protect. Those most disillusioned forswore their oath to the Sentinel royalty, <clears throat> pardon, abandoning their pact of allegiance made to the throne. These hardened warriors joined the separatist group led by the exalted priest class, allying themselves with the makers and the devout acolytes in an attempt, attempted coup against the <clears throat> Sentinel Royal House. These Sentinel warriors who fell in battle, having sided with the makers, were ultimately denied finality in death, resurrected by the divinity machine of maker design. Okay, that's a new thing. These fallen sentinels were returned from the dead, transformed by Hell's power and recreated with a singular purpose, to hunt the Slayer, now reborn as knights in Hell's army. All right. That's... I don't think we need to move much else here, so... There we go. Yeah, okay, and yeah. Hope, you, hope you also get an understanding what the... Hell does when they conquer the world. Yeah, it corrupts and transforms the occupants. Like it's likely yeah. that a bunch of the imps and such that we fought were probably just, uh, yeah, the population of previous worlds, planets, universes. Yeah. Question mark that they've yeah, conquered. Yeah, heavily twisted. We missed the the Slayer gates. Let's see, two runes. Yes, overload the shields. And yeah, so we get a new battery. All right. Now we get most stuff. Missed a few toys, missed a battery and a key and a point. All right. Moving on then. So yeah, good to, good that you told me to stop, <coughs> to stop early last time. Yeah, you were not able to handle him when you were sleepy. 68% of Hell's occupying force. Without the priests, the demons will not consume Earth as the Karn Maker had planned. Okay. There is still one priest left, and I have lost his signal. I can no longer locate him. Dr. Hayden will be able to find him. Okay, why? He is transferring himself into your ship's mainframe. The architecture is similar to his own. This will. Uh, wait, so. That body is of maker Five design. Priest is hiding in Sentinel Prime. The Khan Maker does not want him to be easily found. The only functional slipgate to Sentinel Prime is in the core of Mars, in the lost city of Hibeth. I have marked its location for you, but getting there will take time. There is no easy way to access the core of Mars. There are no known pathways that lead there, Dr. Hayden. The BFG-10,000, designed by Dr. Samuel Hayden as part of the anti-demonic defense grid. <laughs> I understand. 
Searching the coordinates to the BFG 10,000 now. You can't just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. The portal is ready. Oh, I think we'll find <laughs> if you plenty can. All right. Oh, yeah. Also, here, I'm going to give you a hint. You have seen Hayden's true form. I'm not going to see which it is, though. Okay. Now, I believe we put one battery here. Yeah. And yeah, hello, Glacier Boy. You doing well today? Hello, Glacier Boy. And that's an achievement. Homemaker spends eight batteries. Uh, apparently, I don't have. Uh, <clears throat> apparently, I don't have the overlay capture on this uh, source. Apparently. Let's see. Custom skin. You have unlocked a custom skin for the Slayer. Custom skin say the appearance of the Slayer throughout the game. Go to the customize menu from the main menu to equip your. <clears throat> Ooh. That one was a bit strong. <clears throat> to equip your custom skin. Uh, just back from dinner, so a bit. Uh, yeah, original Praetor suits. I did have it right then. <laughs> it looks uh, badass. Okay, so we do need. Let's see. Where did it say? I've already forgotten. <laughs> Let's see. It's doing good. Thanks. Just chilling in Valheim as Drakir has gotten me into it. <laughs> okay, another one, huh? We really should continue with that sometime. Yeah, and I actually talked with Pleasure Boy. And I offered him if he wants, only voluntarily, he could, if he wants, join us when we stream it. Or when we not stream it. Okay. That but that, more hands makes lighter work and all that. Yeah, again, just voluntarily. If I understand it's... I can understand people getting nervous to, to join a stream and all that. Yeah. Okay, just for the fun of it, let's unlock this one as well. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, we're getting to a level that is infamous in memedom of this game like it was like the first meme that i saw of the game because yeah, yeah. we're going to get an even bigger fucking gun wait 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 so, so i feel we should equip that let's see i don't where do we equip it i i know it said it early but i've completely forgotten already let's see uh, also this game and the DLCs are currently on sale, so I will be, I will be getting this one. I have I have read the reviews on it, which say it isn't as good as the campaign or part one, but since well it's a part two, so the ending is in there of at least the DLC. Uh, I kind of feel that is <laughs> required that if we do one, we need we do the other one as well. Yeah. Let's see, where do we swap it? Wait, good to suits again. Yeah. Uh, oh, I there's something there. Let's see. Wait, maybe you need to go out of the game to equip it. Or yeah, it would be rather dumb. It. Nothing up there either. Uh. But yeah, if and when we do uh, Valheim, you're you're yeah, free to join uh, Glacier Boy. It's going to do a quick little search here. Doom Eternal, uh, suit skin. There. Uh, how do we swap these? Uh, No. That's it. Uh, how to change the skin appearance and skins. Okay. You'll have to head to... Fucking cookies bullshit. Reject all. Fuck all your legitimate interests. Like, I, 
I don't fully get what they mean with legitimate interest, but to me it just sounds like, uh, okay, you object to these, but through this you accept them anyways. Uh, where? Come on, stop the bullshit. Where? There. How to change? Oh, you will have to head to the main menu. Okay, that is dumb. But easy to do. Okay, yeah. Game should have saved anyways. Yep, and it saves anyways as well here. Rather dumb that it, you have to go back here to do this, but oh well. Uh, let's see. Customize. Slayer. Let's see. We have <laughs> really, a few standard ones. We have the Praetor, original. Okay, it covers more. But here we have the we have the inner elbows exposed, and then we have sentinel armor, which well exposes yeah, even more. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's go with go this one. The one. But something badass about that one. All an angel. Do, do I have? I, I think I have these from a DLC that was just included. <laughs> Maker Slayer. Okay, basically a recolor of this one, a bit less so. Radiant Empyrean, also a recolor. Hmm. Yeah, let's go with Sentinel. We won't see much of it outside of screens, not screenshot, but cutscenes. But still. <laughs> okay. And, well, great. Now our base is haunted by the jackass who got us into this situation in the very first place. Just shoot a hole into the surface of Mars. The portal is ready. Uh, watch me, jackass. Who is it? Ah, almost missed it. This is an ARC broadcast. ARC personnel have reported that the Slayer made his way to Dr. Hayden's tower and has retrieved his remains. We do not know why. Unnamed sources inside the organization claim that Dr. Hayden anticipated the Slayer's arrival. We can only hope that this is true and that the Resistance can continue. Okay. Uh, Vega, if he causes trouble, shock him. <laughs> this is from uh, Fishboy. A shame Durban isn't here. Yeah, I, I agree. Shame Durban isn't here. He was, yeah, he didn't was waiting for this. He's away yeah. camping, the poor thing. Yes, sorry that I couldn't stream yesterday. It was just well, uh, I won't know. I won't mention the specifics of it, but uh, things were a bit intense yesterday, so I wasn't in the best state uh, to stream yesterday. <clears throat> yeah. Anyway. With the help of Samuel Hayden, the final hell priest has been located on Sentinel Prime, a city from your past. The only known path to this now or accursed place is through the dimensional gateway hidden in the core of Mars, where in the lost city of he Habith, Habeth, Habeth, whatever, it resides. The journey that will take uh, time you can't afford to waste, a dilemma which calls for a more direct approach. Also, I like just a little bit of a <laughs> crowding moment of awesome. Uh, We've slain two thirds of all demons on Earth by ourselves already, from what Vega said. <laughs> Quickly move away. <laughs> and that's him being gentle. <laughs> Hello, boys. Hey, who are you? You can't be here. Thank you. Warning, BFG ten thousand is firing. 
Okay, that's going to ruin some civilization somewhere. That what the hell is that thing firing at? Or are they just firing at random or something? And what is the power source then? Maybe they're firing at a UAC ship? Could be. It, wait, little fucker. So this is a new track. Get down here. Don't place your boy. That man sold himself. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> They're never yeah. getting the smell out of that chair. <laughs> but yeah, I'm pretty sure that scene is one of the most known. Oh yeah. I think it was in trailers and all. Still no bonk. And yes, I have been keeping a counter going. Oh, hello, Pinky. Too close. There we go. Oh, hello, boys. And goodbye. Okay. So for a moment, that's something that's attacking there. Let's... I landed on the name. Oh dear, and they will forget it. Thank you for the follow, Dog Clown. Uh, yep. <laughs> I keep forgetting those early ones. Thank you for the, the follow. I think they followed after... Uh, no, still no bonk. After the last raid. Let's... I would say something earlier about... Uh, yeah. I know what's happening. Warning. Slayer threat level at maximum. Wait, that's a... Uh, that's not a Dread Knight. Yep. Can hear you. Okay, this one deserves the personal touch of a double barrel shotgun. You're gonna be the double barrel sword. Can't hear you. And get gone. Okay, so those are the new bear ones of hell. Uh, let's see, I clicked away from it, didn't I? That's Baron of Hell. Okay, the chain gun can quickly falter. Okay. The Fireborn Barons have evolved. The decadent clan of the uh, Baron Hellbreed and are indigenous to the caustic scorched hellscapes bordering the Burning Abyss. A landscape of cracked spires forged from an unbreakable uh, black stone, tempered by the crashing waves of magmatic, ti mag yeah, magmatic tides, as in lava. <clears throat> These sulfuric plains of hell have long served as banishing grounds, a place of exodus to which the damned are sentenced as their final destination. The fireborn barons have evolved in this environment, sustaining themselves on the remnants of the damned, growing obsidian carapaces, and in time becoming infused with the very incendiary matter of hell itself. <laughs> and hello, Durvin. Yes, we are at that part of the game. <laughs> yeah, we told him on Discord. Hello, Durvin the first. The first of his name. Lord of many. Okay. Uh... Yeah, let's grab this one. Now that we have too much use of these. And yes, I have changed skin as well. Oh, you burnt your hands? Don't go petting the barons of hell. Certainly not the fireborn ones. You broke that scene. Just dial six three times on your mobile phone, and a UAC representative will be glad to assist you. Okay, I'm, <laughs> I'm not. I'm. I'm at once surprised and not surprised that they would do that. Warning, BFG 10,000 is firing. 
What are they firing at? Well, Hello maybe there. if you look up, you maybe can see. They look in the fire on whatever is launching the demons. Could be, uh... Hello and goodbye. Fuck you. That motherfucker hanged <laughs> that a bit perfectly. And the trap traps. Come here, you. God damn it. Like, how do these. What is. What was distracting you there? Give me here, you. Killed by bot. Go. Uh, do we have blood surface charge? Yes, we have. Uh, that's the even chat. Uh, I wonder where you heard it from, Durban. From this board, and now Durban will order first. No idea. I can't. I can't have. It can't have been from Drakir and you. X face. And from our Lord. Hey, heal! Captain America says language! <laughs> well, Captain America isn't punching out demons. Yeah, uh, I actually heard an interesting comic about uh, Captain America's recent movie posters over the years. Who? Oh. Something about uh, he looks like a bird stole his lunch. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, that's a new one. Uh oh. I do recognize it though. Oh, motherfucker is throwing sword bottles. What was that? There you are. Yeah, out of ammo with that. Not with this. Wait, did, did they change. Did they change the skin, change the. Uh, the skin of this. Of the chainsaw as well, because that looked more like a chainsaw. Wait, what? I missed that. I mm. know, oh, I just think there's a bit less armor in the way of seeing it. Okay, where's the big boy? Pretty sure I didn't get the kill him yet. Ah, oh, there he's, <laughs> he's stuck behind the environment. Yes, yes, we get it. Shut up, GLaDOS, or whatever you are. Yeah, he's stuck. Um, he, I don't think anyone wants GLaDOS to have any contact with a BFG 10,000. Okay, pain elementals. Okay, Ballista does bonus damage to flying demons. An abhorrent creation of the Umbral Plains, the Pain Elemental is descended from the primal abominable depths of the Demon World. Knowing only its own torment, the Elemental is cursed to forge lost souls within the fiery pit of, it got, of its gut, a process that is excruciating and without end for the duration of the creature's miserable lifespan. The Elemental's only reprieve from its own agonizing and torturous existence is the projection of suffering into the world. For this reason, the Pain Elemental reaps great satisfaction from indiscriminate killing and the infliction of misery upon those weaker than itself. Oh dear. Yeah. There we go. What is that? Oh, one of you. Okay, for you we get the special big toys out. Actually, I should over I should overload its shield and then pull out the big boys. First though, where's some health around here? Yep. Yeah, once the kill is done here, let's yep. try and look and see what they are shooting. There we go, just in time. Oh, 
Okay, now... There. There we go, that's a good way of getting rid of him. A little sh shit. There. Okay, is that all of them? That's all of them. Okay, whatever they're shooting at, it's out of sight. Okay, hmm. BFG core. BFG is yeah. but first off, let's turn. Okay. Let's see. PC glitched out a bit, but I'm back. Okay. Uh, also, I did not think that through. And um, vegetable is screaming, GLADOS! There. Okay. And again, we're messing with Hayden's fuses. I don't suspect there is a ship further away, but it's close enough to make a teleport over here. Oh, thank you. Let's see. We've probably been missing quite a few side stuff, or actually none from the looks of it. <laughs> okay. Just need to get up. Oh. Near you. Oh. How many do me demons will be remaining to see actually? We only seen half, right? Uh, I think we've seen most, at least that I can remember. I'm, like, I'm doubting they're going to bring back the spider masterminds. But they still those were, have... Yeah, they were. Well, they the Ragnatrons, yes, but not the full sized ones. Which were. Rare enemies in the original game, but still more than just one. Okay. Codex. Not pain elemental. There. Uh, which one is new here? BFG 10,000. Let's see. Originally established as a mining and communication relay, the UAC outpost on Phobos began immediate expansion following the destruction of the Argent facility on Mars. The UAC Board of Directors, intent on retaining their monopoly on the Red Planet and surrounding airspace, issued the construction of an expansive defense platform. Using technology derived from BFC 9000, the design plan called for a massive particle cannon to be built onto the orbiting moon. The BFG 10,000, the largest man-made weapon platform ever conceived, wields enough firepower to defend against even the most sophisticated of capital-grade FDL cruisers in existence, or against even the eventual potential uh, potential potentiality of a space-bound demonic threat. Actually, I think I can guess what the... <laughs> what is powering this thing. Uh oh but Should have known that the others... There. There we go. Bon appetit. Okay. Uh, this is where we're supposed to go, right? Oh. <laughs> I'm serious. That guy doesn't scare me. I'd like to see him try. <laughs> Run. That control pod contains the energy source of the BFG 10,000. I'm lowering it for you now. Telling you he's on his way. I need you to. Oh! oh. <laughs> yep. We get our toy back. The BFG 9000. Oh no, he. He was a UAC god. <laughs> no, that's. No. That I doubt that guard was the power source. No, 
Where the UAC guard? This is, this is the UAC ship. Disable the safety protocols. <laughs> okay. We should move ahead. Personnel evacuate to Mars service. This layer has control. Oh, wait. Okay, if, if the if the UAC has control of this, then again, what were they firing at? Probably us. Uh, we were and inside, so. <laughs> Never mind, the unit. There might be others attacking them. Or they try to fire at Earth with the... Oh, dear gods. Mm, yeah. Okay. The BFG-9000 is capable of killing most demons with a single shot. Press left to launch a colossal ball of energy that generates deadly tendrils as it passes nearby demons. The emergency exit portals should take you directly to the Mars surface facility. Okay. Ballast out there. <laughs> okay. But for a second, I thought it wasn't another. Uh, <clears throat> okay, maybe it was the. Ah, uh, forget it. The demons were attacking here as well, so now I'm just. Yeah. Uh, whatever. But you remember, the demons attacks anyone and themselves. <laughs> You can use the facility escape pods to get down to the Mars core, but we have no way of reaching it from here. Okay, we'll just make our own way again. Yeah, we made a pretty big hole here, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hello there. Yep, <laughs> at least one bomb. From the Lord, demons. The Slayer, the savior of men. You think one man can stop the armies of hell? Seeing as we've killed likely 70% of all demons on Earth at the moment, yes. There's a freaking totem nearby. Where is it? At least they're in fighting. Where's the totem hidden? Like I'm not I'm no fan of these stupid things. Basically they are a waste of ammunition. And time since these assholes are going to respawn anyways. Where is it? There it is. Was it that badly hidden? Hold on, it was already easily in the mine actually. Yeah, but still a nuisance. I stand by my point that I think the first encounter with those things is absolutely horrid. Yeah, the, the, the first one was definitely a little bit. Uh... Missed. Overly tricky. I, I get that it was supposed to showcase just why it makes them such a danger, but to hide it behind several layers of, tele yeah, of killing waves, that's just stupid. Yeah. I'm meant to shoot the damn killers to activate the fourth wave, but you kind of did it accidentally by shooting the demons. There. Yeah. Fucking 
But that thing is just purposefully putting those in my way. Yeah. Bloody heck. Now knowing those people were actually UAC, it explains why the heck that scared the heck out of you. Okay. It also explains why one of the guards were sassed of you until they saw you. Yeah, it could be that they were part of the non-crazy <laughs> personnel of UAC, seeing as well the demons were actually attacking them as well. Sit still, you. Yeah. Okay. Oop. There's something here. Hello, and thank you. Uh, Gervin, my chat is slow. That was meant for what's being targeted by BFG pre rip And the secret encounter. Not that I have interest in that. Then again, nice. resources aren't really being wasted when you can re regenerate your own stuff with, well, burning them for armor, uh, glory killing them for health, and chainsawing them for ammo. But still, I want to keep things moving more. See Glacier Boy, I need to head off. I'll see you later, and hopefully I can join Hill and Rakir for Valheim whenever it happens. Yes, see you next time. <laughs> see you next time, Glacier Boy. Yeah, be safe, Glacier Boy, and looking forward to that day. <laughs> that is a weapon, not a teleporter. <laughs> okay. Oh, my Lord! Get ready! Prowler. Okay, I will give the voice actor props for just how psychotic they sound with it. Yeah, and this is probably one of the more videos. But after the evilness, actually, you started to seem true of the person. Like, I'm pretty sure they're possessed or something. Okay. The Ion Catapult is designed to use only approved UAC ammunition. <laughs> it's called what now? <laughs> Catapult. Uh, okay, if it's designed for ammunition, why does it have handholds? Three, two, one. Knock, knock. <laughs> and this is a guy who's one third naked. <laughs> I do wonder if we have other schemes for the other weapons, like a uh, different uh, shoulder uh, shooter and uh, wrist blade. <laughs> Maybe, but not sure. Let's, there's yeah, something we, there. We, we can look that up uh, next time we stream it, uh, before we start. Nope. You... Oh, onslaught? Power up? Oh. <laughs> Permanent use of that? Anything else around here? Yep. Okay, there are only some of those have them. Loop back. Okay, secrets are rather in the open. Oh dear. I hope you saw that, uh, German Lord. But since you've been waiting for it for so long. Yep. The little shit still got me. Okay. Get up there. Let's see. Get up there. It's 
how do we get there? Got something hidden up there. Yes, there's a coin and another secret here. Hmm. Let me see. Back here again. There, there we go. Hold on. Ah, here we go. There we go. Okay, give me that. And there is that. But how... Ah, we use the bouncer from here, I'm guessing. There. Okay, what are you? Oop. Okay, I had to look to the side to see it, <laughs> what that meant. Intro. Uh, yep. Damn it, out of... Okay, is there something behind... Oh, there's a life behind that. Not too... Uh, not too much of a loss. Okay. Okay, music change, so there's going to be combat. Okay, you will see sign zombie, zombie cultists, and something attack there. Let's what is, uh, here. BFG, we kind of forgot about this one. Let's see. The BFG 9000 remains the most powerful weapon ever designed by the UAC, releasing a projectile of pure roiling argent plasma. The sphere of superheated energy undulates as argent tendrils lash out, drawn to nearby organic material and immediately producing a fatal explosion from within. Dr. Samuel Hayden recently deployed the weapon to Phobos, where it served as the inspirational linchpin for the development of the BFG 10000 defense station. When mounted inside the station's magnification array, the BFG can be fired into a series of reactive uh, yeah, can be fired into a series of reactive lensing rings. These rings pump a constant stream of gaseous argent throughout um, gaseous argent throughout the barrel, which ignites in reaction to the electrified plasma, producing a tremendous energy wave powerful enough to crack the surface of a planet, which it definitely did. Okay. Oh. And there was the costume skin, skin info. Yeah. Um, also, zombie cultists. Let's see, father, zombies. Ambient. Uh, okay, where is it different here? Note that that one's there. BFG 9000, yeah, but. Okay, why do you tell me that there's a new mark for. Zombie cultists, but not have one here, it seems. Wait. Let's go to... Uh, zombie. View content. Yeah, nothing new here. Oh. Is that supposed to be somewhere else or something? Uh, it says press tab to view, but doesn't view anything. Uh, cut content, perhaps? Hmm... Not Ooh. sure. Well, I'm feeling like they would probably at least by now patch that in. Okay, extra life. Oh, wait, Hello. is that...? Oh, that's right here again. <laughs> uh... Wait, what? Oh, oh I'm not supposed to go this way towards the big giant hole. <laughs> that was entirely a detour that I did. <sighs> Stupid little traps. There. Okay, where to from here? Ah. Okay. 
there. Okay. Okay, now we go there. Yep. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. I'll first take care of your friends. And there we go. <laughs> She's been powered yet. It. One, two, three, four, five, and we arrive. Two. Eyeballs. Oh, dear gods. Hey, Jimmy. There's the carcass. There and be gone. Are you attacking the traps? <laughs> okay. bullet too many on that one. Okay, yep. But I have this one. Okay. Uh, not everyone. Get here, you. All right. Okay, we can't continue like this, so we need to go in here. Oh, hello. How many arms do we have? I believe six. Oh, four. Uh, come here, come here. I thought they only had two. Ow. Okay, this one was just chilling. Yeah. Would it be funny if that actually hits? Bring. That. Yep, <laughs> bad time to run out of ammo with the shotgun. Actually, yes, we can. The meat. Need the chainsaw or something. Okay, the last, the last one took an extra second to finish him off. Okay. Oh, there. Uh, just short. Is that how we're supposed to... No, this there, is how we're... As I said, there are some things you can climb on to. Oh, oh, hello. It's the whole horde of them.
Come here. Good. Anything else around here? Okay. No. Here is an extra life. There. Okay. Lies and dies. Where is it? Yeah, I think the charge on that is way too long. Okay, kill the master, kill the spawns as well, it seems. Oop. No, up. Battery up. Go. Okay, we can just go back <laughs> for the battery up here. Okay. Ow. Also some armor and a bit of ammo. Okay. There. And back. <laughs> okay, I don't think Mars is going to be around for much longer with the hole we put in it. Oh, uh, good let's see. God. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's get some more health. Health no max. Okay, King of the Crystals. Fully upgrade health, armor, or ammo in a single save slot. Let's see. Ah. No. Oh. <laughs> Just around the corner. Okay, I thought so. No, oh, hello. Bastards. you that all of them okay no oh, hello hey Tatum uh, I've gotten the go ahead to invite you to the server for the mod pack I helped make okay thank you Tatum oh, hello little potato <laughs> uh, how do we get in there it's locked is there a lockdown button somewhere this is a one-way trip uh, how, how are you doing Tatum well I hope uh, Anything here to... Up there. Okay, that opens data. Oh. What? Oh, I see. There. I'd... Okay, I'd overseen this one. Quake Champions Goroth. I... Oh yeah, I forgot Quake Champions has the Doom Slayer in it as well as a playable character, I believe. Um... Oh, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, for a second, I almost thought I'd got myself stuck. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, I think I had downloaded that mod pack. 
I'm not entirely sure. I just remember myself, I have some lovely news for you. Oh? They have announced the new Cosmodemia yeah. series. Okay, the TV series? The series that Netflix has made. Same artist. The of the Doom Slayer. His power, his will to overcome. These are the lives of the non-believers. Uh, I sort of hope that we found her at some point and just fold her like a pretzel. I think many do. But I don't think anyone... many do that. It is not that I'm aware of. Yeah. Let's see. The UAC. We've got guts. Huge guts. <laughs> the Mancubus doesn't count. They can't be applied <laughs> as UAC members. Wait, that's a I do say is led uh, further back in his memories. Oh. Okay, for a second, I was going to try and go for another glory kill. <laughs> would have been, it would have been utterly hilarious if we did a glory kill with the pinky toy. That'd be um, so funny. And also, I think I know why she said that. that. Why? I think one of the priests that told her. Really Probably. So why do we make it so complicated? They, okay, they have more than two lines. You probably missed yeah. some then, but oh well. Oh dear. No, is this thing going to even fit? I'm charting a flight path to Mars. Calculating thrust vectors. Launching in three, two, one. Uh, your count was a bit off, I think. Prepare for turbulence. Okay. I was half expecting us to fly straight through that portal that we were need to find here. The slip gate. The lost city of the dead. This was before your time in the Sentinels. The slip gate will take you to Sentinel Prime where the priest is hiding. Let's see. Before his time with the Knights and just that just puts again a question on how old the Slayer is. Let's see. Amidst the long and, the long and enduring history of Sentinel civilization, there are moments in antiquity that have become buried in time, forgotten chapters that remain concealed to the Sentinel historians, waiting to be unearthed. The fallen city of Hebeth is one such tale, all but forgotten to the tomes of legacies past. Once a, prosper a prosperous port city, a proud gleaming marker of conquest for the distant tribe of Bethian uh, clansmen of the Outer Worlds, Habeth bridged the desperate uh, sentinel cities with the ingenious design of Slipgate invention. But it was not meant to last, and among the, those cities lost in the crusades of sentinel uh, past <clears throat> was Habeth, now little more than a smoldering ruin swallowed by the quaking surface of a once habitable Mars. Okay. Oh yeah, people have said Mars may have been once habitable for a short while. Yeah. Still, for the city to end up at the very core of the planet is quite something. It, I'm pretty sure it didn't get there quite through natural shifting. Yep, immediately welcomed like that. Is my oh, big boy. Doing... Yeah, how long it's how been? How long it was. There we go. I'll take that. Almost wasted ammo on a zombie. Uh, so there, another you bonk. What is that theory about that you asked earlier? Again? I repeat. Theory. Nope. Get me out of here. Doom, you is fighting in hell. Well, time travel to the Sentinel's worlds. Yep. Damn it, that's the first death in a while. 
So, yeah, again, a theory. A doom theory? <laughs> Get away, you. Actually. That's what's what it's on. There. There. Hey. Okay. Think that one was new. Yep. Good. I'll take you. There we go. Not for that. Now, I don't think the the heavy cannon really measures up that much more anymore. Oh, damn it. Where's the big boy? like a hard piece of cheese. Okay. You have your cheese. <laughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Probably could have done that fight a bit better, but oh well. Oh, you draw a stack of painful. Okay. Looks so damn painful. <laughs> uh, yeah, I probably should have used the, I should have used the cryo grenade a few times during that. Oh well. Now let's get a replacement for the life we lost. But yeah, in this game, when you able to hit the earlier. The suspicion of time travel. You know what? Screw all of you. Okay. Now then. Yeah, time travel or the slayer is just immortal. We missed a... Okay, we missed a key. Where was that missed? Let's see, Phobos. Not seeing it there. UAC. Uh, there's a bit of unexplored area there, but I'm not seeing anything about something... Actually... Oh, wait. There it is. Okay. There. And it's... How did I miss that? It's right in the... Is that even it? And apparently that was how we we're supposed to get up there. Okay. Good. 
Didn't I walk through that before already, or... Is that supposed to be ammo for the BFG? Might be. It's not the... Yeah, there's more over there. Where... Hmm? Okay, where is this thing hidden then? There's... Again, one... Something there. Where is... Okay, then it is probably somewhere that we didn't get close to. Hmm. Oh, well. Oh, wait, all... All the way back here? Wait, wait, wait. There's something behind you. Who could be? Yeah, an invisible wall. Oh. Yeah, then okay, the map was a short fist. Uh, yeah, it's probably somewhere, but oh well. Where? Uh. <laughs> okay. Let me actually give this a shot. Uh, um, yep, it's it's BFG ammo. Have you noticed the banners? Yeah, they're floating up. Or toward... Are these frozen? Okay. That's not natural. Then again, I don't think a lot of this is natural. Yeah, in space, it will probably stand still without wind. There's definitely uh, movement here. Yeah, there is wind on Mars, just not air. Okay, Sentinel Prime. Interplanetary fracking, blow a hole in Mars. <laughs> oh, good gods. And now it's to give here an extra point of strength for the pun earlier. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's see, challenges. I actually, I actually forgot to look at <laughs> Kill 40 things with a very big gun. Oh, good god. Big bad -a boom. <laughs> okay. As we do with exploration, pretty good actually. It's only the key that we missed. Hmm. Let's see. Sentinel Prime. You've traveled through the core of Mars, arriving at the ancient city of Sentinel Prime. You have sovereignty in this unholy place for now. <clears throat> the Great Slayer was once a warrior king in this world. Tradition grants you safe passage, but the completion of your mission will come at a price. Help Priest Graf is waiting. Okay. Living Sentinels? Wait, are, are these the renegades or something? Welcome, Great Slayer. Or the priest. I thought they were extinct. Save for the well, Slayer and I can I forget you, the specifics again. The one that gave you the knife? Yeah. Hmm. So wait, is this the Sentinel homeworld? Sentinel Prime and all that? Let's see, Sentinel Prime. The ancient arena is a holy place for the people of Argentinor. Constructed in the earliest days of their history, this Colosseum served as a proving ground for trial by combat. Historical records indicate that the Argenta did not jail their own kind. Rather, prisoners and criminals were granted the right to earn their chance at regaining honor through victory in the arena. Those who succeeded, yeah, succeeded were given a place to fight in the front lines of the Sentinel Army, to die in service of Argentinor. This traditional use of the arena has subsided, has subsided since the assimilation with the Dark Realm. The corrupted priests now allow more violent exchanges, with armed captives pitted against, yeah, pitted against demons for sport. 
the priests of the order Deag, Deag, again I just can't figure out how to say it, uh, continue to hold undisputed power on Argent de Noor. Spilling the blood of the Argent Ascended class will result in the transgressor's banishment. Asylum amongst the Agenta will be denied to those who do not adhere to the rules of engagement. I think I know how to pronounce it. No. no. I think so. try to shout on your inner seal. Oop. Oop, flashback. Wait, being dragged? Oh, yeah, you're not seeing this. We found him in the valley, just outside the castle walls. He was badly wounded and wearing this. Oh, hello. Guts. Huge guts. Kill them. Must kill them all. Hmm. He has fight in him yet. In spite of his injuries. Send him to the arena. Let him be judged like the others. Oh, I thought you had already seen this. No. Nope. Now you see what you mean by time travel. <laughs> let's see. Sentinel history part four. Uh, let's make this image. Oh, oh hello. <laughs> yeah, old school. Uh, old, old school uh, <laughs> doom guy. Now, I'm, I'm thinking more that well, his time in hell basically went uh, like the warp. Like uh, that. Yeah, time travels uh, behaves differently in certain parts of it, and he's been in there for who knows how long. Yeah. Let's see. In the time of King Novik, as the Argenta secured peace and safety through dimensions across time and space, an outlander came to us. He was not of our world and spoke an ugly tongue. How he first took step upon our land was unknown. Sentinel scouts had found the outlander bloodied, clawed, and near death, mumbling of impending doom and the force of darkness. The scent of blood followed him, and the gore that stained his armor seemed not entirely his own. By our gentle law, the stranger would be judged in the Colosseum, where he would be given the chance of all who stray from the past to fight for his freedom. We knew not of this stranger. His mind seemed crippled with rage. He dressed in attire not suited for our lands and carried munition of arcane origin. We watched as his will overcame his injuries, and in the blood arena he proved his worth. The outlander's technique was crude and brutal, but the determination in his charge echoed that of any true-born sentinel. His war cry echoed through the Colosseum as did the sounds of his fury, and the guards cheered his banner. Rip and tear, they shouted, as the beast pushed beyond mortal wounds and certain death. He would be gifted no rank, no title. The survivors in the arena were provided only one reward, the right to earn an honorable death while spreading the blessings of the makers to those in need. The outlander's determination was, witne was witnessed, his ravings are documented and through the word of the Order Deg, the con maker had him brought before her. She set her minions to learning his tongue, for with his ugly words he spoke of lands unseen, creatures born of fire in a dark place unknown to the queen and her caste. Yet another opportunity to expand the gift of the makers to those in need. Okay, so the makers weren't actually demons. They were they were actually trying to do well, it seems. Hmm. I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> there you know, I'm still trying to figure them out as well, but there's All a right. lot more things going on. I offer you a great power for one, a sign of truce. Okay, what trick do you have up your sleeve, fallen angel? Let's see, part five. Uh, yes. Hell come to the Sentinels. On the eve of the Black Star, the Dark Ones came from a world beneath our own. Not through ship or nor ephemeral amph 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 vessel, but through the fabric of dimensions. Out of swirling fiery gates came the horned beast from a timeless realm. First one, then many crashing waves of evil swelled from the obsidian forest of the Argentian <clears throat> overlands. 
The Allurum clans from the eastern mountains fell first to the black uh, hordes of devils, and the city of Telerum was slung under the weight of their chain, of their charge. We sentinels rose to meet the beasts with spear in hands, the might of the holy fleet striking back at the demons, but the black gates from whence they came gave birth still to even greater hordes. A line of blood was drawn with the fallen of both sides, and the unholy wars began as the, times, as the time of darkness came upon us. Okay. Not needed. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a forge. I know of what you have left behind. Go back to it then. Leave this crusade. You cannot save them. They have asked me for this, and so I give it to them. If you let the priest live, then I will return to you what the demons took from you so long ago. You need only turn back, and it will be yours again. All the pain you carry will be gone. Is she talking about Daisy? Because Maybe. <laughs> that's a bit of a... Uh, turn back and let us rain hell literal on the universe and we will give you your bunny back yeah I must be surprised if there's more than just Daisy but yeah uh, turn... mm -hmm. part 6 let's see okay what is this supposed to be seems that I they studied is... the things and... <laughs> you see there's something I think it's not just time travel, but time travel to an alternative universe. Maybe. But they say different dimensions and all that. Let's see. For, if I'm not right, they have said this is the same Doom guy from Doom 1 and 2. And the armor basically <laughs> confirms that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Let's see. Unlike enemies of the past, we could not contain the demons emergent from the Dark Realm. Their weaponry was not conjured from machine steel, but from the essence of their very being. A dark magic not known to us in, <clears throat> in our many conquests. Had we grown overconfident, our victory serving to dull our blade as we drank in the glory of our expanding empire? Lost, we knew not of how to prevail against this foe. The Maker Gods stood perplexed, and our engineers and priests scrambled to find the advantage in battle we so desperately needed. Unknown to the enemy, we were pushed to the brink of defeat, and our gods stood with us as we worked to find the answer. The Order of the Dig were the, verse, were the first to unlock the mysteries of these foul creatures. The priests were able to capture several of the beasts and set about to identify the source of their power. It was then that the essence of the Dark Realm was discovered. Not wholly unlike our own, this power was the life essence that flowed through their twisted form and powered their attacks. It could be harnessed to power our own weapons, giving the Argenta the chance to combat the demons on even footing. The priest believed that with greater knowledge of the essence, we could discover its source and cut it off from the demons to strangle their armies from within, allowing us to regain the advantage we required for, ba for victory on the battlefield. <clears throat> It's, this sounds a bit like they made the same mistake as Hayden did, with using their power against them and such. <clears throat> the Khan Maker gave blessings to our majesty and directed the priests to delve deeper into the mysteries of the Scarlet Elixir from the Demonic Realm, for she sought only to return balance to our universe. Proper assimilation was required, as Hell stood beyond her influence. After great effort, the priests discovered more than they, have, they had ever hoped for. They learned of the true nature of the demonic energy and how it could strengthen those skilled enough to harness its power. The energy coursing through the malformed body of our re relentless enemy could be used to end life or to enhance it. The power to heal, to mend, immortality, knowledge and enlightened faculties beyond our understanding. With the demon's life force in the skilled hand of the sentinel priests and under the... <clears throat> Under the righteous gaze of the Khan Maker, our people would not only rise to victory over the unholy horde that clawed at our walls, we would move to a higher plateau of existence, ushering in a new era of military science and industrial healing. No sentinel would grow sick, no Maker would need to suffer the transfiguration that they so feared. Okay, that's a new. All would be risen. None could ever oppose our peaceful ways and threaten our world again. 
True balance over hell and its legions, over its space and time, in this world and all others. We would dictate the order. United with the makers, we would find peace eternal. I find that doubtful. Yeah, I think you just remember something. The recent Doom 2016 is called 2016 is... All the time people try to do Doom 3, the Doom 3 is for basically a Doom 1 attempt into a new Doom series, and they for some reason just use Doom 3 as an excuse to get more people. Okay. So when Bethesda got the rights, they did not want to do that to the new audience, for it has been done two times. One that they made a movie of, a one that was so bad that no one remembers it. <laughs> Hello there, that's a Praetor-like armor. Wait, look at the face. Wait, is that the Betrayer? Yes. <laughs> and, they, and they made a symbol out of his helmet here? <laughs> oh okay, or a symbol of a mark or yeah. signet? Oh, or whatever, I keep forgetting. Yeah, as I was saying, this is where, how I learned that when the sister took good rights, they decided we're not going to do the same mistakes as the two others are done. We're going to give it people that they want. A true Doom 3, just without using saying Doom 3, because they felt like it would be a, a curse almost. <clears throat> yeah. Let's see. The con maker demanded a tithe of the essence, and driven by her, and her desire, the priests committed themselves to her will. The order of the Dague took counsel with the king, speaking only of the spoiled land sure to be found through the cleft in creation, and the opportunity to purge the new invaders from Argentinor. We took the war to their cursed land, pressing through the gates of wizardry. This actually reminds me of something. There was that interaction that the Slayer had with uh, the king back, there where he said that he was going against the king's will or something hmm. <clears throat> let's see there was one among us who seemed to know the true nature of these foul demons it was the outlander the stranger who had come to us from places unknown he who had survived in the front lines far longer than any sentinel born prisoner had before his passion for battle against the vile horde was evident, his lust for their destruction matching our own, though Argentinur remained a foreign land to him. His fervor caught the attention of inquisitors of the Sentinel Guard, some whispering of a suspected alliance he held in secret with the demons. Silencing the critics, King Novik deemed him worthy of selection. The signifiers brought a commission to our king, and it was decided that he be lifted from the common rabble. Though no arena-born prisoner had ever been granted the honor, the Night Sentinels broke tradition and deemed the, outland the Outlander worthy of training. A number of disciples grumbled and chafed at the barbarian present in their ranks, but in the war with the demons all opportunities for even the slightest advantage were to be considered, and as they witnessed the stranger spar with their hall masters, they found in him an undying, unrelenting compatriot. This man was an outsider, friend to none, yet rose each time he was thrown to the dirt of the circle. Battered and bruised, his brow stained with blood, he rose with grim determination for the chance to face his enemies in armed combat once again. <clears throat> time passed as the stranger was instructed in the codified matrices of their order, the ancient lessons of battle and brotherhood taught to all sentinels. He could sense the opportunity with... He could sense the opportunity before him. Soon all of hell would feel his wrath once again. And let's see. Tatum, I'm good. Sorry for very late response. Had to get food. <laughs> uh, no problem. <laughs> Hope you enjoy it. Yeah, no problems. <laughs> and enjoy your fees. Let's see. Satisfied that he would not be a, deter a detriment to their prowess, the, 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 the Night Sentinels granted him his wish as they ventured through the hell gates with the stranger in tow. They knew no rest, fighting in the unnatural elements and training under the blood moon of night. The stranger had suffered exhaustion, wounds, and sickness, but asked for no aid and was offered none. Three times the night sentinels ventured into the gate and back, and upon every return the stranger strode more capable than before. His gait locked in step with the march of the sentinels, a disciplined and now controlled lust for demon blood ever present. The passing of years and the numerous battles with the, 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 with the devils indentured the stranger to Ardenta's mightiest warriors, 
and no longer did they cons <clears throat> did they condescend to him as a new blooded conscript for to them he had become a brother in arms forged in war an ally and a weapon okay we have a good few more to go here i'm guessing we're going to have one specifically about the betrayer or, wait didn't we have one about him specifically or, or one that is going to give more info on him i guess i pity the humans i do theirs is a hard role to play but i too have a world to save Without their souls, there can be no hell energy, and the Argent will cease to flow. I cannot allow this to happen. You will not stand in the way of Erdak's progress. This is how it has always been done. It is not for you to deny us our chance at prosperity. It's the very same mistake that Hayden did. Yeah, what's worse? Yeah. Just sacrificing an entire planet, or entire universe even, just so they yeah. can turn on the lights. Yeah, dude, he didn't wanna sacrifice in that manner. Okay. <clears throat> As we ward so with the be- <laughs> I was gonna yeah. say, he, he's at least better than her. Mm. As we warred with the beasts, the Argenta society grew, under the watchful eye of the Makers and through the endless power of the Essence. While our generals were consumed with the unholy war, our culture was marked by the beautiful potion the enemy had provided us, the sweet elixir. It brought us immeasurable capacity and empowered us to reach farther into dimensions once thought to be beyond our grasp. Under the direction of our Maker gods and the engineering of our High Priests, our weapons blazed and our war machines stormed. The throngs of the populace drank deeply from the well of energy unveiled by the priests, but we of the Night Sentinels took no part in their abundance. Some among us whispered accusations and warnings against this matter, uh, manner of progress, but they were quelled, as it was not our role to dictate the future of our people, only to defend it. Uh, yeah, they, they as well relied too much on one energy source. And now the battery is running dry. Okay, yeah, jump dude. across from the other side. Seems this source can last for a very long time. Yeah. But it comes at a, a high price. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure these people should be able to make freaking Dyson spheres. They should be able to power them for a good long while. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's the armor we're wearing now. <laughs> okay, what? Oh, that that is a big ass demon. Let's see. Uh, so pigeons? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. <laughs> okay. As the Black Star ascended to its zenith, King Novik sat restless on his throne as a howling mad darkness began to assemble just beyond <clears throat> the mountain rise to the east. The blight came upon us in droves, flooding forth from the Hell Gate with merciless fury. They brought with them a monstrous titan, the Dreadnought, a beast to rival the stature and menace of even the mightiest ancestral. The grotesque giant laid waste to all before him, crushing all in his path. This was a total demonic assault, striking at the heart of Arjunanur as never before. How was it that the behemoth could pass through our de demonic gate without warning? We would never know, though the Night Sentinels believed treason was at play. Caught off guard, the Sentinels scrambled late in defiance of the Titan and his horde, and with his, com <coughs> with his coming, and with his coming, the holy city of Terra's Nabad prepared for judgment. With the onslaught of the demons massed in the sprawling shadow of the abhorrent fiend, the city shook to its foundation. None were spared save those who had fled north. The Vals swarm ransacked our temples and palaces, burning our towers and feasting on the souls of our clergy. Yet the night sentinels rallied and held fast against the demons. They were pushed back and corralled at the blood arena. As the dark of night descended, their swords remained potent and shred the enemy multitude with abandon. Amidst the unyielding ranks of the Sentinel, when all other apprentices had fallen in battle, stood the Outlander. 
Whip and tear, he roared, ferocious in battle. The remaining conscripts of the arena stood in awe as they witnessed the beast who had once raged within their very cells, now armored along, <clears throat> now armored alongside the shoulders of his sentinel brethren. He had risen where none other had before, a true-born sentinel fighter, the very best among them. But though the swarm fell before their assault, the titan remained invincible, for none could tame the behemoth alone. In the hours before dawn, as the night sentinels weathered the relentless assault, the outlander held his ground at the foot of the great wall in the northern bend of the castle. Seeing his unending vigor, Samur, chancellor to the mother god, hurried the outlander away on their veil of secrecy, and for a reason unknown, submitted him to a rite untold. This was heresy, for Samur received no consent from the Khan maker, nor did he receive her counsel. In the Chapel of Purity, the Outlander submitted himself to the, to the Divinity Machine. Okay, second mention of this. There, Samur Maker, the Sephirim known to us only as the aid to the Mother God, blessed the Outlander with fierce speed and power to match his will. It was the method by which his transfusion took place that was most uncertain to us, for we were of the knowledge that the Maker device bestowed onto the Argenta so many generations ago was to be used by the priests only to find the impurity among us. How could it be that the device that was meant to call the sentinel breed of its contaminants could then be used to purify the outlander's body and give rise to the one who would lead us into battle henceforth? Okay. <clears throat> What rose from the holy coffin on that fateful day was not the impure abomination the covenant warned us of. The hero within would come to be known only as the great slayer, the time walker, okay. The warrior Khan whose fire sword would blaze forth a path for the just and cut through the demonic horde with a vengeance that only a god king could summon. He rose unbroken by the ritual, his eyes burning with maker magic. He took the crucible in his hands, and great fire leapt forth from the blade, as only it will when held by a true sentinel warrior king. In our darkest hour, the slayer had been chosen, defying tradition, our most sacred laws, and the will of the great Khan herself. A stranger to our lands had been blessed with celestial might. Okay, so that's where he gets a lot of his strength from. Uh, yep, but... and also, I want you to take notice of a name. Samur. Yeah. Hmm. Look at the name carefully. Mm. Let's see. Samur, Samael. Samur, and someone else you know. Not the betrayer? No. You want a clue? Uh, okay. He's in the ship at the moment. Hmm. Really? Is that hard? <laughs> I, I, all I can think of is Vega and Samuel, but... What is that sound? Is that the lightning? I think it's one of those things, but yeah, you said his name there. Let's see. And the moment I'm gonna plug in a Charge King cable to my headphones. Okay. Graf remains the most powerful of the Hell Priests among the people of Argentinor, frequently visiting his ancient homeworld, the Lord over the Populous. Arrogant and pompous, Graf calls for Bloodsport in the arena to entertain the fallen citizens of Sentinel Prime. Since the demonic invasion of Earth began, he has operated on the planet's surface along with his fellow Hell Priests to direct Hell's forces, but after the, the deaths of Nilox and Ranak, he has fled to the safety of the arena. It was Graf who facilitated the torment and eventual betrayal of Sentinel Commander Valen, taking the keys to the se Sepulcher of Elements and opening the Vault of the Sleeping Raids. The ancient creatures were abducted, transported to Hell, and tortured to siphon away their power. He used the heart of Valen's son to animate the icon of Sin, a titan still spoken of in legends throughout Argent and Noor. Okay. Oh dear. So uh, did, he was actually the first betrayal, betrayer. Yeah. So let's see how to help you here. 
you remember what he said about Sam Samuel Hagen? Yeah. He was very alien. Where his body was. Yes. Yeah. And, and, very, yeah and, and the fact that he could integrate so easily into maker you know, into maker you know, technology. But yes. that basically confirms that his body was made with um, maker tech. Oh, uh, Hildes Moore. What is the commandant between Samuel and Samur? Beyond the name. Gladiator. It's a clue, Hillian. I'll, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually when I'm not trying to murder everything on screen. <laughs> Let's see. it. It's likely that the game will just shove my face into it anyways. In the years following the end of the Golden Age, competing factions of Argent and Nur turned against one another. An insidious influence had beset itself upon the Sentinel people, corrupting its once-held sacred traditions. The Colosseum, once a place of honorable combat where prisoners of the Argenta were tested for the right to fight in the front lines of their army, had si has since become the, a place of blood sports. In violation of Sentinel law, the priest had encaged a demon uh, there, the merciless execu the executioner used to enact judgments of their own decree. The gladiator, wielding an accursed shield which entombs the tortured soul of his undying master, remains undefeated in battle, infamous for the many lives it has claimed. Okay, this one's new. Uh oh. Hmm. Yeah. It looks like some abominated version of a hell no, knight of a baron of hell. He kind of looks like these old school demons in the artwork. Just that's Graf. That's uh -huh. Malvac and Khan. <laughs> You'll make a fine addition to the front line, stranger. The demons, they are everywhere. Must kill them all. Dress his wounds and bring him to us. I want to know more about the others he speaks of. Yes, your grace. <laughs> If Sentinel Holy Blood is spilled on these grounds, you will lose all sovereignty here. Sounds like you and the others were the first who broke the laws here, priests. Let's see, when the shield's eyes flash green, the gladiator is about to attack. Shoot him when it, its eyes are green to stagger him and create an open. Okay. You? Wait, can we just... Okay. Yep, ow. <laughs> the shield actually... <laughs> okay, should have expected that. Yep. Yeah, they did say the shield is his, his former master. Come here, you. What the heck? It, it, oh dear, I have a great comparison. It's basically like... If I talk, type you to a table board and use you as a shield. Yep. Completely missed me with that, I think. Okay, come on. Okay, from potato. There's not many trays on the server, so we need to proceed more. That's why, lol. There. Okay. Yep, yep. Oh dear. How many times do I have to beat you in the freaking head? It's probably best if I just... Uh, 
Not use as much ammo. I did not need to use that one, but okay. Let's <laughs> clean the house at least. This music is good. Come on. Either I was off with my timing with the normal shotgun, or it just didn't deal enough damage or something. It is true, that's okay. I think the music is shouting rip and tear in order the new tongue. Could be. Yep. It wouldn't be fitting. But I did say they were doing that in the arenas when he fought. Ooh, that was a new. Come on, big boy. Yep. Okay. Why does it sometimes not seem to work? Almost down. A lot of ammo. Come on. One more. Yeah. Overshot with that one. Second handle bar. <laughs> okay. Now you don't have your toy and... Okay, you just get another toy. Okay. Without his shield, the gladiator is more aggressive and has a wider variety of attacks. When the gladiator spins one of its flails, it's retur it, it, it returns attacks back to the player. When the gladiator's eye flashes green, he is about to strike. Yep. <laughs> Well, you killed his masters, so and now it's personal. Can we... Okay, we can just hurt you now. No. Oh dear. Well, that ain't his hell. Okay. Almost yep. out for half his health. Not bad, Billion. Got rid of it. Up. Up. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did not see that attack coming. Up. Just as he starts. Okay, we can just blast him out of that. Not too late with it this time. Basically, strip his skull bare. Uh, bare. Put you out of your misery finally. Ooh. Wait, is that that's is that one of those coins that he used? Stop, stop, stop. 
nothing. Earth will be consumed, regardless of what... <laughs> oh, blood points upgraded. Glory kills on heavy demons now instantly charge a blood points. Okay, that is good. Oh, nice. And... Thumbs down. Yeah. Beat the gladiator. The voice of that thing? Okay, the hell priest, I presume. Okay, that was pretty fun. And then we found off everything. Okay. Is the voice for Hawk Mouth in Miraculous Ladybug? Okay. I can't forget that that's a series. I've seen a bit of it, but I found it a bit too much with its uh, will they, won't they uh, romance stuff. Uh, <clears throat> so I didn't clip. continue. Oh. The con maker has overloaded your systems. Vega has no control. Wait, what? What just moved over to if the left? If you had let the culling continue, the human race you fight to protect would have survived. Now I will resurrect the icon of sin. He will devour Earth and leave your whole world in ruins. Life on your planet shall never return. And this will be yet another world you brought to extinction. From everything we've been told, you're the one who left. With no power, you can do no more harm to our mission, and we may continue the work that must be done. Prison? Really? You think, really think I'm locked up in here with them? No, they're locked in here with me. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a prison, this is an execution pit for whoever you send in here after me. Uh. If she really thinks that was enough to stop us, then she is stupider than I think. Plus, we have a spare battery. Wait, what? The demonic crucible. <laughs> In the end, the very power source you sought to eradicate from Earth is now what will help you save it. The mission on Sentinel Prime was a success. The demonic consumption of Earth has been stopped. Only a Slayer's Crucible blade can stop a Titan. You must get to the Sentinel City of Taras Nabad to retrieve your Crucible before it is too late. Without it, the Titan cannot be stopped. Setting the portal there's, to there's Taras multiple? Nabad. Oh, Cillian, you accidentally made a bad grammar. Uh, what? You said... She, she's... The dumber than a fourth, I think. I think you made it's just dumber than I thought. Yeah, but it comes down to the same. Because yeah, what I'm getting the... from this is is that <laughs> it's the makers who were behind the corruption of the sentinels and everything. Yeah, they I don't think they started like that, but became that afterwards. Yeah, like Hayden, they became well, not Hayden specifically, but the lure of Argent became you know, was too strong for them to resist. Or they were too weak to resist and re reject it. This is the Resistance Network, broadcasting live from inside the Arctic safe zone. There was a Slayer sighting on Phobos. Eyewitness reports say that he was spotted inside a command center and then proceeded to fight his way through the mortally challenged and onto the deck of the BFG 10K. This can't be confirmed, 
But many believe it was the Slayer himself who destroyed Mars in an attempt to stop the Challenged from further advancing their position on Earth. We will post more information as it comes in. This is an ARC broadcast. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah. Mars is no more. Well, partially, but that was explain why he shot Mars. They, they yeah. used it as a way to invade Earth. Uh, more for the fact that we just needed to get to the portal within it, but it's a nice little side effect. Okay, but there is a certain irony in the fact that we are now using the same power that we denounced. Let's see. Hmm. How many batteries do we have? Three. Let's go get a point and put this last one somewhere else. Uh, I Actually, I think it's less denounced and more just keep it away from people who would, well, misuse it or be misused by it. Okay. And just stick the last one in here. Now, I think we're getting to the towards the end of the game. Because, well, the icon of sin. Yeah, we're getting closer. I think we did everything next stream or two streams. Let's see. Uh, up. <clears throat> and uh, I should ask, there are still more demons to see. Okay. In we go. Terra's Nabad? Yep. With the death of her priest, the blood ritual has been broken. The Khan Maker, desperate for a way to consume Earth, is attempting to resurrect the Icon of Sin under her command. Only the Slayer's Crucible Blade can stop the Icon. To retrieve it, you must journey back on, into your past to the city of Terra's Nabad, where your legend began. Okay, more your Slayer Crucible lore. Your is still embedded in the Titan that attacked this Sentinel City. Your first battle against the demons in this world, where the legend of the Slayer began. How do you know all of this, Hayden? Oh, you have not figured out yet. Like, I'm guessing there there is a link between him and Samur, I'm guessing. But I'm going to see if until there's more confirmation about that. Let's see. Because I'm pretty sure it was said that Samuel Hayden was born on Earth and such, unless he was, like, resurrected or possessed by Samur. Not re resurrected, created. Let's see. The city of uh... Terra's Nabad was the crown jewel of Argentinor. For centuries, it served as the spiritual heart of Argent society, home to both the royal family and the center of political power. No expense was spared in the building of the city, with bold con canal... I don't have, I'm not even going to try. Architecture and towering monuments to gods and kings resplendent on every avenue. Rural Argenta flocked to Terras Nabad in pilgrimage to the Maker Temples. The city was ground zero of a massive demonic invasion attempt, and although the invasion was thwarted, the attack changed Argenta society forever. Wait, there was an image with that one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, yep. as you realize, we are about to soon do overtime. Yep. Okay. Uh, we'll call it on the next checkpoint then. This might be here. Is it? Ah. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Get away. 
Bad dog. Yeah, I should have expected. <laughs> we got a lot of them with that shot. Okay, we can only get one shot in with that. Actually, there we go. No longer out of ammo. There we go. Site of the first recorded demon attack in Argentina. According to the Korax Temple, <laughs> the city would have been lost had it not been for the arrival of the Slayer. Okay, I didn't see if there was a checkpoint there, but I'm going to guess there was. And even then, it's not too much lost. <clears throat> if we do start from the start there. <laughs> okay. Uh, first things first now, though, for next time we're swapping to the original Praetor suit, since, well, we're now officially exiles by the Sentinel Remnants, I'm just going to call them. Uh, okay, yeah. I, I knew this game would give lore to the Slayer and such, but I didn't expect it to be so much lore. <laughs> yeah, then they wanted to give... Uh... The true Doom franchise, a proper return. Yeah, and it ties everything, or most everything, together. Okay, with the previous games. All right. Oh yeah, before we call, yeah, before we call an end to it, let's go look for someone to raid. So let's see. I will be the raid potatoes fridge. <laughs> but all we'll find there is potatoes. <laughs> Yeah, and we can make that into potato chips, fries, and dip the fries in mayo. So you're saying we could uh, boil them, <laughs> cook them, stick them in a stew? Samwise Gamgee. Now, let's see. Ooh, there's <laughs> a lot of people online. Uh, let me pick out a few highlights that I'm seeing. Touch skinny tail is... I just noted a new game that I've never seen. Svedogorgalia? Uh, where are you seeing that? Amongst the... Uh, uh, oh, this yeah, one here. Yeah. Pseudoregalia. This is... This is actually... It's a... It's a Nintendo 64 style uh, Metroidvania. And I've only heard... I've only heard good of it. So... Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've bought it already. If not, I'm, I need to finish the purchase of it. But yeah, it, it it looks antiquated and such, but it has amazing movement from all I've been told. All right. As it is, if it, it goes, goes well on a showcase Sunday, I'm up for streaming it. Okay. Uh, let's see. Some highlights. Let me look at some things that I actually don't recognize. We have Cora Dust here who is playing Palia. I'm guessing that's pronounced. Uh, it it's looks released like already. Oh, you know about it? I only recently learned about it. I uh, think it's. Yeah, here's the thing. Uh, I sort of know what it probably is. The trailer was not informative at all. Okay, the, it looks to be an MMO is game. Social panel is. Is this basically like a what was that game called? It was an M it was an MMO basically aimed at younger to teenaged people uh, with a lot of mini games and such for tasks. Let's see. Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. It does look like it has some survival stuff, perhaps. I'm curious to say the least. But anyways, uh, Lasherus is playing Final Fantasy 15. The Digital Hazard is streaming MS Saga, A New Dawn. Oh, Mobile Suits. Okay. Uh, Jimmy McGinger is playing Tolio. Oh, yeah, that, we've seen this one. Uh, or we've seen it, them play it before, I think. It's a plat, an old school yeah. style platformer. 
Uh, Derpy Doo is streaming Remnant 2, and Kikoskier is streaming Dwarf Fortress. Any of those or any others that you see here? Who we shall raid? Or for who we shall raid? Hmm. I think I'm gonna let you pick, says I am getting sleepy. So I'm uh, having very good thinking. Uh, let's go raid the digital hazard. It's been a while since we raided them, I think. So copy yeah, the it name. Has been quite a while. Then we go to our place slash raid and paste. I'll probably go check out Corridust's stream as well on the side just to see more about that game because it has me curious now. But uh, Free Realms, I'm think I think that was the name of that MMO I was thinking about. So I'm, not, I'm not even sure if it still exists. Hmm. Oh. Anyways, let me correct that. Slash raids. Okay, but before we start that, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Tatum. Thank you, Sensai, for lurking. Glacier Boy and Durvin Lords. Thank you all for watching. And thank you as always for Kier. You're welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining in this madness. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll have to see how many streams we can do tomorrow since, uh, well, August the 5th. That's my birthday. Um, another yeah. one. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, <clears throat> uh, we'll be having a barbecue for most of the afternoon with it, so we'll see if I can stream at the usual times of 3 p.m. 8 p.m. should be more than doable. 3 p.m. might be a no. So, yeah, if, if we can do both, then we'll do the usual of Evo Land and Dave the Diver. If not, we'll do Evo Land in the evening, and we'll see if we can do Dave uh, Sunday evening. Though so we've already done him extra. Mm, I don't know. Uh, I like I like Dave the Diver more. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but we we shouldn't ignore our other side quests. But we could also wait to ask if Rom wants to do LA Noir Sunday. But yeah, we'll see that when we see it. So for now. Let's start up that raids, and yeah, thank you everyone again for watching, and until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe everyone, and watch out for zombie seagulls and uh, mimics.